Good morning. It is Monday and this is my weekly reading vlog for the week of December 3rd through December 10th-ish. Stick around to see what happens in Jen's world this week. Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome to my channel Ifers Inklings. It is Monday, December 3rd. It's about 9.30 and I am just getting into work. Jillian had a dentist appointment this morning, bright and early, um, and I did not sleep at all last night, so I'm exhausted. Um, and it looks like I am the only office staff today, so that means I'll be at the front desk and not get to do my job, and so I'm really excited about that. But what can you do? Um... I did finish listening to Soldier this morning. Um, finished it just a few minutes ago. I uh, really enjoyed the story. Gave it four stars. It is the third book in the Talon series by Julie Kagawa. And um, there are three narrators, and it's told from three perspectives on in the book and then in the on the audio as well. There's three different um, narrators. So without any spoilers on it, um, I don't like the way this one ended where Sebastian is concerned and then there was a reveal in the epilogue that was not surprising I'd already figured that one out um where it comes to Dante and Ember I don't know why I couldn't think of her name um so I wasn't surprised there at all so it is what it is I picked up a graphic novel today from the that I borrowed from the library um, I have my holds go to the library over here by the by my work, so I picked it up on my way in. It's called This One Summer by Jul Jillian Tamaki, and it looks like it's maybe illustrated by Mariko Tamaki. Um, I picked this up for a prompt for the Read Harder Challenge, and I probably will... If I um, can't get anything else done at the front desk today, I may sit there and read this between doing front desk stuff to get it started. So that's it for my update right now. I am about to start on 13 Ways of Looking at a Fat Girl on audio. Um, I don't know if I'll start that today at work or if I'll start it on my way home from work. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it. But I will check in with y'all a little bit later. Bye! Hey guys, it's me. It's um, 7.35 on Monday afternoon and um, I am exhausted and I'm going to be going to bed as soon as the kiddo is in bed. I um, But I wanted to give you a quick update on my reading and progress and my thoughts. Um, I am reading this, I'm listening to this book the audiobook version of it, 13 Ways of Looking at a Fat Girl by Mona, I believe it's Awad or Awad, not exactly sure. Um, and I'm about halfway through right now, and it's pissing me off. Absolutely pissing me off. Um, the <laughs> This is supposed to have some really good fat rep in it, um, but I have heard from various people of oh, such mixed reviews on this. I picked it up because the booktuber I watched at the time when I was two years ago, when I was first introduced to booktube, um, loved it and raved about it. And I thought, oh, this sounds great. I want to read it. Um, and she raved about the representation and how all teenage girls should probably read this, especially overweight girls. And how it was body positive and all of this stuff. And I'm halfway through this book, and I'm not seeing it. In fact, the girl is so awful um, and uses her weight as a crutch and does not have good self-esteem. And it's basically all about her, her sexual conquests because of being fat and how these... And it's almost like all fat girls are good for is having sex in secret because you know god forbid nobody wants to be seen actually dating a fat girl and the guys points of view that are in here are awful the 
she is horrible to other women, fat or not, and it's just awful. Um, I'm hoping it gets better, but I'm, I'm not feeling it. Um, I, I don't have high hopes. Um, I almost want to read the physical copy of it just so I can annotate all of the crap posts. It would be completely, probably every page on here would be just filled with them. And it just pisses me off. Um, we're at the point of the book where she is losing weight to please a guy. Um, to look better for a guy. And I'm all about being healthy, eating right, um, exercising, being healthy, being the best, best version of yourself, no matter what that looks like. But to starve yourself to look good for somebody else doesn't sit well with me at all. And I'm not trying to um, glorify obesity or anything like that. You can be healthy and overweight. You can be unhealthy and skinny. The two do not correlate. The only people that know about your health are you and your doctor. If losing weight is something you need to do for your health, then by all means do it. But if you're perfectly healthy and you're perfectly happy with all of your fluffiness, then by all means stay that way to please you and or lose weight to please you. But don't do it for somebody else, especially a stupid guy. Anyway, that's my rant. And I may cut all this out, but this is this book is just pissing me off. Hey guys, it's a Tuesday morning. It's 9.30. Obviously, I'm at work. Um, I went to bed last night at 8 o'clock and I, I fell asleep probably within 30 minutes and slept 11 hours almost. And um, it was wonderful and I feel real well rested, but I didn't get up in time to make myself look decent. So here we are, um, which is really nothing new for my day job here. So, I um, am listening to this book, uh, 13, ways of, to 13 Ways of Looking at a Fat Girl, and as my update last night said, I'm not enjoying it. Well, I'm at 67%. It is hot garbage. It just gets worse and worse, and the one redeemable male character in this book just screwed that up. It just pissed me off so bad. Had high hopes for Tom. I really liked him. Um, even though Beth or Elizabeth or Lizzie or whatever the hell she's being called at this point in the book is su such awful person. Um, and when you're rotten on the inside, it doesn't matter what your outside looks like. Um, and she is just an awful person. So, yeah. Anyway. That's my update for today. I should finish this in a little bit, and I'm going to treat myself with a good book that I know I'm going to enjoy, which is uh, Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. Um, it came out today, and I just purchased the audiobook of it. Um, I had a credit left, so um, that is currently downloading right now so that when I finish this hot garbage, I can move on to something that um, I know is gonna rip my heart out, but that's okay, because it's Cassandra Clare, and I am trash for her in this whole series. Um, anyway, I'm going to be productive at work and get busy. I will check in with y'all later, probably when I finish this, this dumpster fire of a book. Bye. Hey, guys. It is um, still the 4th. What is this? Tuesday, the 4th. It is now 6.25. I'm still at work. Um, I needed to get some things um organized and um, sorted through and just kind of finished up while there was nobody here to bother me. Um, and it took me a little bit longer than I expected because I was only expecting to be here till about six. Um, I have to leave here and run over to the library just down the road to pick up a um, book that I have on hold, a graphic novel, and to pay my library fine. I have a dollar library fine because I put a book on hold and never picked it up back in the summer because I forgot about it. So it was a dollar charge for that. So yeah, gotta pay that. 
Um, but like I said, I'm fixing to leave work. I did finish 13 Ways of Looking at a Fat Girl today. I gave it 1.5 stars. And I'm probably going to go home and film a full review on it. Um, I am angry and disgusted and <laughs> enraged by this book. Um, I, I, clearly, I hated it. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit in my review of it, I, th I believe. But just know that I think it is a disgusting book. And I don't understand why anybody liked it at all. Um... I just, I don't get it. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I also have started Queen of Air and Darkness by um, Cassandra Clare, which is the final book in the um, trilogy. I can't remember the name of this trilogy. Um, but it just released today. And um, I'm... It's a 30-hour book, so I'm going to be here a while. Um, I do listen at two times speed, and I may bump it up to two and a half speed if I can follow along with it. But um, still, that's still 15 hours of audiobook, and um, plus some. But I'm a little ways into it. I've been listening to it for about a couple of hours. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to go grab this book, go to my grandmother's house to eat dinner and pick up my kiddo and then I'm gonna go home I've got to edit my vlog for this week that should go up tomorrow um, which is like from two weeks ago yay I'm so behind on that um, and just do a little bit more listening to this audiobook and some stuff around the house because I work tomorrow and I got to pack up Jillian for grandma's house for tomorrow too so that's it I will talk to y'all later bye Hey guys, it's me. It's Wednesday the 5th and um, it's like at 2.15. Today's been a crazy day and um, I am trying to get some work done in my office. You can see this glare over here. I usually have my sunglasses on for the late afternoon because I can't see my computer screen because of the sun coming in my window right here. So that's why this looks a little funky. But we've got, I got some kind of little invitation thing that I'm going to open up from, um, I think it's probably from our PTO. We have the most amazing PTO here at this school, and um, they do an adopt-a-teacher, uh, adopt um, but it's really every staff member, so um, we get little goodies throughout the year from our adopted student and parent, and they feed us lunch twice a year, so right before we go on to Christmas break and at the end of the school year, and apparently there's some kind of, this is our invitation for this year little candy cane. Let's see what this says. So here it is. It says, for our super staff, come enjoy soup and salad provided by the PTO and families Bring your regular, during your regularly scheduled lunch. Come decked out in your ugliest holiday sweater. $50 will be awarded to the teacher staff person with the ugliest sweater. So, um, I probably won't participate in that, but that's pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, I don't have much to talk about. I haven't done any reading because it has been a crazy day here. We have, um, today's what we call Wacky Wednesday, and all of our eighth graders go over to the high school for, um, to tour the building and all that, and so we've had that chaos. We have only two people in the front office, which is me and the secretary today. So it's been a little chaotic. Um, and we also have a bunch of teachers out on trainings for professional development. So it's just been wild. And I'm just now, it's like, like I said, about 2.15. And I'm just now kind of in my office getting to work on my work. So I haven't been listening to the, my book or anything because I have to answer the phone and help back her up at the front desk. And I'm all the way at the back of the front office. So, um... It is what it is, and um, sounds like I need to get the phone. I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, guys. It is um, still Wednesday night. I'm about to go into work. It's um, just still after 5, and um, my second job at work. And um, I did get to listen to a little bit more of Queen of Air and Darkness 
the third book in the Shadow Hunter um, series that this is, and I can't re ever remember the name of this series. I don't know why, but it's the one about um, the Blackthorns, Emma and Julian. And, um, well, it is very interesting so far. Like I said, I'm 16% in, roughly chapter nine. There's a lot that has happened, a lot going on. Um, about five hours into the 30 hour audio book. So I have a long ways to go still. Um, the first two hours of this audio book was just absolutely gut wrenching. And um, because it was the, the cleanup of what happened at the end of Lord of Shadows. So um, you can imagine if you've read that one, you know what happened at the end of that. And so it was kind of the stuff that would take place after what happened there. Um, it's really hard to talk about when you're trying not to do spoilers. Um, but I'm, of course, I'm loving it. It's really great. All my favorite characters are in, um, and all the characters I love to hate are there. The cohort is still awful. Um, and, you know, just these kids that the Blackthorns have always been one of my favorite families, and Emma has always been one of my favorite characters. Um, when we first met her way back in book five of the City of Bones Mortal Instruments series, um, she's always been one of my favorites. And of course, you know, Jim is in this book and there's some, we get some really good, exciting news from him at, right at the end of some really bad um, gut-wrenching things. And so that really helped, in the, you know, in the first couple of chapters of the book so um anyway I don't can't really do much I can't really say much because it would be spoilery but that's it that's my update for now and I probably I probably won't check in with you tonight because I don't know how late I'll work but I will um check back in with you tomorrow for sure I'll talk to you later bye good Thursday morning um, it is November 6th, December 6th, not November, don't want to go backwards, Jen. Um, it's December 6th, and it's like 9.25 in the morning. I'm sitting outside the library. I was running late for work this morning, but I need to hop in here and um, grab this book and pay my fine. Um, and I'm just down the road from work, so I'm just going to take care of it. Um, my boss knows I'm running late. Um, that's It's not really a big deal because I worked late every day this week so and I'll work like again tonight um, it's just the time of the year that, that happens and I'm really not supposed to get overtime so coming in a little bit late when I have to work late um, isn't really a big deal but anyway I'm listening to Cassandra Clare's Queen of Air and Darkness I am on chapter 12 which is about 23% into this book and um, about eight hours into the audiobook and it is just, I have no words. Um, I hate Horace Dearborn, um, which, you know, he's a character you're supposed to hate, so that's not surprising. But there are so many political parallels in this text and in this series of texts that it is, um, it's kind of scary. Um, and, of course, there's a lot of references in here that can be traced back to, like, the times of World War II where Hitler and the Nazis were trying to take control of uh, Germany and control over the Jews. So, there's all that. So, this is interesting, um, the correlations that you can pull from it. And hopefully, it inspires um, horror in young readers to kind of stand up against these kinds of actions um, in our political atmosphere. There's also a lot of really great quotes on like grief and love and things like that. Um, I wish I was actually reading the book so I could highlight these, um, but I'm not. I'm listening to the audiobook, so there's that. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to go back and find some of them, though. People will mark them, and it'll show up on Goodreads, and I'll be able to go through there and and um, pick out some of my favorite quotes um, because there's some good ones in here already. And again, I'm only on chapter 12. 
I have a long ways to go. I've still got 23 hours of this audiobook. So I'm going to get off here, run in here, pick up my library hold. It's a graphic novel. Um, and pay my library fine. So um, I will check back in with y'all a little later today. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. It's like 8 o'clock on Thursday afternoon, evening, evening. And um, I have listened to a little bit of Queen of Air and Darkness. Um, not anything real to update on it. I didn't listen to a lot of it at work today. I listened to booktube videos. I can't concentrate. Nothing is holding my attention. I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, I've got a ton of stuff to do and like nothing is grabbing me to tackle. Um, it's almost like I'm more overwhelmed than anything. So, um, I've got some things I need to, that I just absolutely have to get done. So I'm going to start on that. But, um, because I'm procrastinating and bouncing all over the place, I decided to bake some cookies. So not what I needed to do, but that's what we're doing. Um, so waiting for that to those to get done cooking and um i'm gonna tackle some other little stuff while i watch booktube videos i guess because that's what we're doing today i will check back in with y'all in a little while bye Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's right at noon on the December 8th and um, you might notice I'm not at work like I normally am on Saturday mornings. Um, I had the opportunity to let someone else take a shift. We had way too many people on the floor for a Saturday morning um, that's going to be rainy and cold and we've got winter weather in the forecast. So um, I decided that it was more beneficial to me to be at home so I could get stuff done and caught up on rather than be at work and none of the eight of us on the floor making any money or making very little money. Um, I am the probably the person that needs it the least out of everybody. Like, I'm not going to lose my house. You know, I'm not going to be evicted or whatever. My electricity is not going to be shut off because I didn't work today or make money on my shift today where some of these other girls um, and guys would have been in that position. So um, I'm taking one for the team today and I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'm fixing to eat lunch and take my antibiotics because I'm still not feeling well. I still have the congestion and stuff. Um, I don't think my sinus infection is clearing up, which is a bummer. Um, so I am fixing to make my list of things I need to get done today. And then I'm going to hopefully get that done in the next, I'm going to give myself to like five o'clock, which is about five hours to get some stuff house cleaning done and in order. And then I'm going to shower and film for this and edit this afternoon. I've got a video that I've got to get up, um, that I've got to get filmed and sent over to another booktuber for a, co for a collaboration that we're doing. Um, so I got to get that, that I've got to get that done. Um, so that's on my agenda today. I have listened to, I'm about halfway through Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. And of course, this is the final trilogy, book in this trilogy, The Dark Artifacts, Artifices, Dark Artifices. Um, so I can't really say much about it, but it is um, really good. I'm really super enjoying it. There are some plot twists that I, while they're not unexpected, necessarily unexpected. I didn't necessarily see them coming either, if that makes any kind of sense into what I'm talking about. So, um, nothing spoilery, but um, I am absolutely loving it. I love these characters, all of them. Um, I'm partial to the Blackthorns um, and the characters that interact with them, specifically um, Kieran and Kit and Ty and Tabby and just julian and emma and i just love all of them so anyway this is a long update so i'm gonna get off here and i will check back in with y'all later bye 
Hey guys, it is just before midnight on Tuesday. No, it's not Tuesday. Nowhere near Tuesday. On um, Saturday night, November, whatever the hell this is, I am working on recording videos um, for my channel, getting ready for um, a few things coming up. And um, it is cold and wet and rainy, and we're getting freezing rain and sleep mixture right now we may it may turn over to snow here in a little bit and i just spent the last 10 minutes chasing down a damn wasp flying through my house it literally flew out of my fireplace which is right there and flew in front of my camera between me and the camera and i did not enjoy that very much at all at all and then i lost it and had to find it again and it took a while to find it. I had to wait for it to resurface because um, my ceiling, I don't know if y'all can see this, look. It's a weird brown color. I don't know why, I didn't pick it out. It came with the house like this. But a red wasp blends right the fuck in with it. So I ended up finding it, I swatted it, it was flying around in my kitchen. And so I swatted it and it landed in one of the lids to my one of my um, coffee cups. And um, it wasn't dead, but I couldn't swat it anymore because it was kind of, it was down in the crew, grooves. So I just put another lid on top of it and I'm just waiting for it to die so I can deal with it later. And it's not flying around. But this is fucking ridiculous. They should be hibernating because it's cold. Why are they flying around in my house? Anyway, I'm going to get back to recording videos, and I will talk to y'all sometime tomorrow. Bye. It is Sunday night at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. I don't really know what time it is. Um, I just got finished recording my 14th video, which is why I have my Santa hat on, because one of these videos doesn't go up until um, the 25th of this month. Um have a lot more videos to e to film but I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna get these edited and I'm gonna do a little bit of reading I haven't read anything all day haven't listened to an audiobook didn't get much done yesterday um, I've got to throw in some laundry um, I've got one in the washer now but I need to switch things out and so I need to take care of that and then maybe get some thoughts together and so that I can film my next round of videos I'm trying to pre-film I've got a lot of content that I want to put up in 2019, equivalent to almost a video a day. Um, six videos a week. So that's a lot of stuff I've got to read and prepare and do. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to end this for now. I'll check back when, in with y'all in a little while. Bye. everything I needed. I'm glad. Now where are my pictures? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Need me to hold this? Hold something for you? Now I gotta figure out what all these mean. <laughs> we are standing outside. It's almost midnight. It's only 10.51. 10.51? It's 11.51? Oh, shit. Oh, you can't put that in there. I just cuss. I can totally put it in there. I cuss all the time. It is. We are trying to look at my daughter's fuse box because her speakers are making some god awful noise. I can play it for you. <laughs> That's okay. None of us want to hear that. Look, the fancy thing about this card actually has my pictures. My other card doesn't. Or didn't. Ow. It's cold. Those are my turn signal, turn hazards. I kind of need it to say stereo. Radio. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful clear night. Too bad you can't see the stars on the.
Mm. Yep, I lost it again. Hey guys, it is um, officially after midnight on Sunday night, so Monday morning. Um, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I did not get anything read. I um, did film a bunch more booktube videos. I've got 14 in all that I filmed between yesterday and today. So I've got to get those edited. Um, all 14 of those should go up this week. Well, not necessarily this week, but starting this week. Um, three should go up this week. Starting on Friday, Litmus starts. Um, and that'll be 12 days of videos in a row. So I've got to get all those edited. They are all filmed as long as I'm happy with them and don't need to refilm them. Fingers crossed because that's probably not going to be the case. Um, I was going to go to bed like 30 minutes ago. But at 11 o'clock, my daughter called and said, Hey, Mom, I need to come over and grab some stuff. And then she got here and she was having some car issues. She, um... And so we stood outside and looked at her car and she dug around in the fuse box while I held the light and I did get some footage of that. So you can't really see much, but it's a little bit of a change. And um, we still didn't solve the problem. So I don't know what's going on. She's gonna take it to her dad um, later in the week, I think. Um, but, um, I forgot to start the dryer, so I have to at least wait until this load is done drying and swap out this load in the next so I know for sure that the kiddo has clothes to wear to school tomorrow. Um, I think she's got an outfit in um, the dryer, a complete outfit in the dryer right now, but I don't know and I need to make sure of that and I need to make sure it's dry before I go to bed. Um, so I'm up for a little bit longer. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Um, so while I wait, I am going to read Quiet Girl in A Noisy World. Um, tomorrow I will listen to more of Queen of Air and Darkness because I haven't done any of that this week. I've still got 15 hours of that to go, which at two times speed, that's seven, should take me about seven, eight hours. Um, and I won't get to listen to it consistently tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow, by Tuesday, maybe I'll get it all finished. And then I have four audiobooks that came in from the library, um, all at the same time. Go figure. Um, but a couple of those are really short, um, not very long audiobooks. And then one of them, I'm already halfway through anyway. So, because I borrowed it and I ran out of time, I got halfway through it and I ran out of time. And so I requested again and it came, finally came back on hold. I was hoping that it would before the end of the year, but I'm, I was actually kind of surprised to, to get it. So, um, that's great. That one won't take me that much long, that long to do, to do, to listen to either. So anyway, I'm going to end this and wrap this vlog up for the week. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to me. That way you can see when I post new content. And until next week, bye.